Hi, this is Spoons, and we're here to talk about the fuzzy chickens. Spoons. That's Spoons. I have some pros and cons for you when it comes to keeping silkies as pets. Okay, a huge pro of having silkies is that they are chill as They are the nicest breed of chicken. I've never been attacked by a silky. Even the roosters are super sweet. Hey, Coco. Welcome, this is Coco. The only downside to them being so nice is that other breeds sometimes point that out and pick on them. These are family birds. They are nice to children, and yeah, they, they won't beat up your kids. Mine even get along with my cats. Another huge perk is their compact size. They're, they're dense, maybe. So they don't eat as much as those beefy breeds, so they're saving you money. Plus, they're small and cute. They can fit in your purse or sit um, next to you in your office. Okay, so this breed of chicken, they are made to be mamas. They are always broody. So with mine, we don't even have an incubator. They just lay and we hatch naturally. Plus, they'll just take eggs from any bird. What the f*** is she doing? What are you even doing, Ra? She's made the most babies. She just, she's the only chicken who doesn't know what's happening. She's totally mute. She's made so many babies. Mama knows how to do it. Sometimes Selena Meyer doesn't and she just eats them, so... Gotta look out for Selena Meyer. Okay, the silky cons. It's notoriously difficult to tell the gender of a silky when they first hatch. In fact, it's pretty difficult for a long time. They are sold a straight run, typically. For example, Muffins, who I've been calling my hen, is um, in fact a boy, just a late, late bloomer. Check out my sexing tape. It's called Silky Gender or something. Another con is they are not very eggy. Compared to other breeds, they don't lay very much, and a lot of this has to do with uh, them being broody all the time. But I was kind of surprised by the size of their eggs, considering the bird is so small, so that's kind of cool. Fur problems. So since they're furry chickens, they are prone to lice and fleas and mites, and sometimes you have to give them baths and tie their hair back or give them haircuts, so they're a bit high maintenance. So you just have to take extra precautions to make sure they're doing okay. You may have to restructure your coop if you get them. I don't know what it is, mine cannot figure out how to get in the high up nesting boxes, so I've actually had to restructure and bring some boxes lower to the ground so that they could be in there. They're also pretty vulnerable because they're small and nice, so you gotta make sure you have extra protection around your coop. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, that's about it, so subscribe. Howdy there, my name's the Bacon Bandit, the greasiest gunslinger in the West. And birds are not real. Also, follow Loki Farms for more content and subscribe to Mo Poofles. See you around.